hello my friends and welcome to the channel in this one i'm going to show you how you can convert your google drive um google drive link to a direct download link that you can use on either your wordpress website or just a regular website okay so i actually did this tutorial in the past okay based on an application i created but um, that application has moved to a new link okay so i'm i'm currently hosting the application on um netlify okay so the link is direct hyphen download hyphen link dot netlify dot app okay so i'll leave a link in the description of this video okay but you can actually just look at it here so that's direct hyphen download link let me just copy this and paste it here so you can see okay so this is it it's quite long but i just wanted it to be descriptive so let me show you what it does if you go to your google drive um you can store files on your google drive so music um, video files documents and stuff so first let's start with this music so i'm going to right click and i'm going to click on get link okay so basically what this will do is that it will generate a link for that file which you are supposed to be able to share with people so I'll copy that link and I will come to this app here, the Google di um, Direct Download Link Generator. And I'll paste that link in here and I'll click on Generate Direct Download Link. Okay, so it generates a link here. And if you click on Embed Audio, you'll see that it generates an embed link for the audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this embed link and I get this notification here. And then I'll go to my WordPress dashboard. So let me just come here and click on test post. And I'm going to come to um, this content section here. I'll click on text and then I'll paste in that snippet of code. So that's the first one. Um, let's go back to visual. Okay. And so if you're not using a WordPress website, like you're using a regular you're coding up your website right you can also do the same so basically this is just a simple piece of code here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just paste that link here okay so it's an audio like file so i'll just do ctrl v and i'll paste it there right then one other thing you can do is you can also use the direct download link so i will go back to my app i'll come to paste link and you see here it says direct download link so i'm going to copy this okay so link has been copied to clipboard i'll click on ok i'll start with wordpress and i'll just come down here just below the first one and i'll just type download okay and then what i'll do is i'll just highlight this download and make it a link okay so i'll insert a link there and basically i'll just paste in that download link okay and let me just do open a new tab so open a new tab and update okay so that's that's i'm done with that so maybe we should just do for like a document okay so i'll go to go back to my um okay i should probably do the same here just for people that um, are coding up themselves so i have a um, download button here i'm just going to paste this link inside of the href the direct download link okay so let's do for i'll go to my google drive and let's let's generate a link for maybe a document okay so this is just a simple pdf i'll right click and i'll click on get link and then i'll copy so you need to make sure that the link is set to anyone anyone with the link can view okay so it's accessible on your website so i will do this for the docu document and you can also do it for a video but i think i'll just stop with um audio and document i'll come to my app um i can just click on clear form so i can have a clean form and then i'll paste it in and generate the link for that and since it's, it's a document i'm going to click on embed video slash document okay so this is audio embed link and this is video or document embed link and i'll copy it okay so let's go to wordpress first and i'll just come down here and i'll paste that in okay oh sorry ctrl z i'll paste it inside of my text view okay so i'll just paste it here ctrl v 
and then i'll go back okay so we are done with this one let me just um paste it inside of the other one here so document i'll just paste this one here Control v okay and then i'll save this one and i'll come to my google drive um, my wordpress and you know what i'll do i'll click on preview so preview right here just to show you what happens so as you can see right this is the file that is on my google drive it's actively um, accessible on my website on my wordpress website let me scroll down and show you this is the download link right so let me play the file first even though it's stored on my google drive so with that app you can convert your google drive to a file hosting service now watch what happens when i click on the download link it will actually download directly so let me just do that okay so you see here it it starts to download the file and if i click on start download that file will be downloaded and this file is located on my google drive and then this is the document i i embedded right okay so basically with that app the uh, direct download link.netlify.app you can convert your google drive into a file hosting service let me show you this file here what well, this one i coded up i'll go to where the file is opened up um, let me just look at that i think it's here okay and the same thing applies so this is the um audio this is the um, download link if i click on this download link it's going to download and then this is the document okay so um that's basically what i wanted to show you in this video and like i said i've done this video before but i'm doing it again just to because i changed the location of the application and, and of course i changed the application as well i worked on it a little bit more um so let me just clear form and i want to thank you so much for watching the tutorial if you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy content like this i want to encourage you also to subscribe and see you in another video